Stargate SG-1. This one is season number seven, episode number ten. <clears throat> Something's in my throat there. My goodness. How's it going, SG-34? It's your boy, Farewell. Today, we are checking out another episode into season seven. This one is number ten. We're in the double digits, ladies and gentlemen. We are zooming by. But things are getting along. Advancements are happening. I'm enjoying it. Hope you guys are as well. And with that being said, let's see what's going on today. So as always, don't forget guys to leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and let's see what's going on at the SGC today. Yikes. Alright, this Jaffa is on his ones. And he got run up by the legendary squad. Shot that. Shot kick never on. Oh, he's a homie. Tilk of the Tauri. Your legend precedes you. Yes, sir. Ooh, not him. Shalkek Nemron. Shalkek Nemron. That's a chant of uh. Shalkek Nemron. Oh, are they like the Amazons of the uh, Jaffa world? Please. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure the all the Jaffas we've seen so far have only been men. It seems like the route we're going. Let's check it out. I just woke up from my nap, so I'm feeling refreshed. In the last x episode we just saw, uh, there was a nice cameo from... I forgot the gentleman's name. He's the one who died uh, during the Black Ops operation that Mayborn was running, and he popped up in the second episode where he died. Oh, she snatched that symbiote quick time. Our intelligence network went deep within the Jafar of Moloch. He came to ask for help. I mean, more allies the better, am I right? Please. Uh, you know, we really should call home first, let the folks know where we are. It's past our curfew. By all means. I see neither bow nor arrow. No. So they're warriors. So they're, they're Wait, so they are You don't suppose that's why they want Jaffa, us, but just you? I mean warriors. You know, the three of us. Oh, Chris Judge stepped in the chat. This one? It's always a welcome to addition. For many of the young, this is the first time they've seen men. Howdy. Well, howdy, ma'am. It's nice to meet you. Uh, I've heard so... Actually, me and Jack can sing. Tilk, have true luck. Former first prime of Apophis. Shova, you know who has become a le... Hmm? Puberty. Ah. Without the symbiote we procured this morning, she would be dead now. So there this are is symbiotes. Younger sister to Neith. Only they could strengthen his armies and lead him to victory in the War of the Gods. But aside from the obvious immorality, that doesn't make sense. How do you sustain a population of any gender without women? Well, has to be sacrificed in the ceremony of fire immediately after they're born. They're burned to death? What? Yes. That's fucked. Because we have penises? <coughs> Tarbar? <laughs> yeah. That's how uh, Daniel tends to break the ice. Well, high priestess. Part of my duty is to keep record of births. And to preside over the ceremony of fire. The children have to be spirited away secretly for fear we'd be reported to the Imperial Guard. It is punishable by death to even question the laws of a god. So you want our help to overthrow Moloch? Moloch is very powerful. His armies are vast. You can't be that lit. We have our ways. I feel like we're door to we're we're gate to gate Tritonin? salesmen. Can I offer you so on a some brand new Tritonin? Version 2.0? A Jaffa is taught it is more noble to die than to kill another. Tilk, these children have been genetically altered to depend on symbiotes and then had all access. Is not stealthiness one of the first talents taught to a Jaffa soldier? With varying degrees of success. We can tell her about the side effects, how he went through it. Have you really the belief that this... For as long as Jaffa requires symbiotes, we will continue to be enslaved by the Goa'uld. The benefit a symbiote provides. <laughs> you still do that shit? <laughs> but what is war for but the preservation of our children? We do not engage the defenseless or the weak. We always fight with honor. Then you doubt our abilities. Is that what this is about? You speak of progress and shedding of the old ways. And yet... Oh, one v one? May your limbs be more nimble than your tongue. For your sake. Man got swept. 
you Come on, give her the you will only anger me further. Come on, Teal, give her the Jaffa jab. This guy was trying to stab her, dog. You know, just tone it. It can only mean you have an unquenchable thirst for bloodshed and revenge. And that does not serve those who follow your leadership. Yep. You take this drug yourself, and yet you conceal it. Your actions betray your words. That one means pride. That one got him touched. Is that a pin dropping? You must not go. You are brave and true. I too will go. Real ones. But if there is one among us... Never! That you would even consider this as an affront to all of us. Your words are disrespectful. Was she a Doctor Who? Did you leave behind someone that you loved? My a son couple. and I have been reunited. I am sorry, Tilk. You could not have known. Surely you have an old flame. She died last year when her symbiote she was died. unable to procure another. We've developed methods of keeping a symbiote alive for some time. As far as the Tritonin, finding the right amount is going to be somewhat trial and error. And we'll keep increasing the dose until we get the desired effect. And she never feared to be either. You still love her. I will always have a place in my heart for her. I like to think we have a special relationship. I hope to someday have Here a special relationship. Oh, like what? We aren't, you know, I mean, we don't. I was speaking of the mutual respect you shared. He was killed in battle against a rival Goa Ul. I was once a temple handmaiden. Sacrificed our daughter before my eyes. Ugh. When they are all dead. The end of the ghoul as we know it is near. You okay? They yes, thrived for far too long. To the age of the replicators is near. <laughs> I'll just sit here for a while. So, how are you? I mean, she's dying. I feel dude. tired. Perhaps you are in need of a symbiote. Yeah, I'll just stick with the glasses. You know, it's a little more complicated than that. I just think that there's a better way. Neith does not want me to participate in your experiments. I know. I don't sound very happy about that. I will become a great warrior like me. You know, you can do that without a symbiote. That would be so cool to see them in the future. They all have their own kids or something like that, or like... The next generation SG wants to see his mentors. Say. I could see Daniel as a good dad. I mean, Teal'c is a love on We know that. Perhaps I should take my leave. That's understandable. Who said I had a wife? <laughs> She's been gone now for over a year. What can you do? Continue to increase the tritonin levels. She's already at double the doses working in the others. Not in the minds of the Chava. We're not done yet. We haven't even begun to explore the reasons why it might not be working in Mela. Can't be just an easy fix like that, right? For everybody. That's the way to get her. You up. had no right to speak to her. I'm sorry. I saved her from her. But she couldn't save the next two girls sired by my father. He was a Jaffa stationed high in the Imperial Guard. Yeah, there is a lot of trauma going on here. Very good. Oh no. Janet? Free. If I continue to be enslaved by the bow, I carry it. I am as good as. It's not looking good, guys. You challenge Ishtar so that we may use their symbiotes to our advantage. Only then will we control our own destiny. <laughs> she, this one right here is like, yeah, I'm not buying that. I wish to know. <laughs> She's coding. Let's start CPR. Let's intubate. Give me one milligram epi prep. Squad up. We have some bad news. Uh, things aren't going that well here either. What's what's up? 
punish me, it is my right. It is your right to grant mercy. Excuse me! Talk shit, get hit, Teal'c, I'm sorry. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry. See, I thought it had been really interesting. I thought they were like a couple. The, the, the tone wasn't working. But they were the whole Teal crowd. And I tried to reintroduce her symbiote. Oh, it's not Do looking not good. Mistake. Moloch will not allow this to continue. We'll be returned safely, where the two of you will be sacrificed. Free shot, Moloch! Oh. I mean, maybe we should have marketed it that the product was not 100% uh, effective, guaranteed. I do not wish for someone else to die so that I might live. I do not want to take a symbiote. And the Tritonian worked on others, did it not? Yes. No. I do. They're on the hunt. I mean, they're effective, damn. Day. More have died than needed to. So, Nam, run. Is the symbiote too near maturity? Then he should uh. not have fought alongside those that follow Malak. Many others. That might have been our allies had we killed this day. I do it myself. <laughs> no! He's damaged as well. Ista. You have a choice. I don't know how much longer I can keep her alive. If we're going to administer the Chitonin, it's now or never. No. Those ways are over. You sentenced me to death. I ask you to choose life. She will not listen to me. But she will listen to her daughter. Well, maybe she'll listen to her sister. Sorry, daughter, sister. You betrayed me. No. You betray me. Since before I can remember, <laughs> you have taught me to believe in our freedom. You must choose to take the Tritonin if you are to continue to teach and protect me. I do not wish you to die. She is no longer anti-Tritonin. Make sure to take note of any symptoms that could be side effects of the Tritonin. You have trained us well in the use of the medicine. And the food and supplies. Give us a call. Send us an email. Just that not too many moons go by before we see you again. Wow, Tilt moves fast. <laughs> Touch. I mean, the head nod is seductive. I told you! <laughs> it hits different. Ooh, this thing kind of slaps. Alright. And that was my reaction video to Stargate SG-1, y'all. This one was season number 7, episode number 10 here. This was an interesting episode dealing with, dealing with this tribe of these Jaffa women and girls who um, were basically opposing this group of, 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 of male Jaffa, stealing the symbiotes to save their kids um, and their sisters. And this is a pretty heavy episode. I had portions of it, honestly, here. And I gotta say, um, I think this was an interesting exploration um, of the uh, of the of the Gould and Jaffa subculture and the relationship between the between the Jaffas, between the males and the females that we hadn't really seen explored all too much, I thought. Um, and they're obviously this, the, I think they're called the Hoctile, uh, the Hoctile, uh, the Hoctile, obviously sort of like similar to the Amazonians where they were the warriors. Uh, and I thought they were pretty cool. I really enjoyed the character of Ishtar this episode. Obviously we've only had her for about 45 minutes, uh, minutes, but I think she was actually a pretty memorable um, character now. And I hope that she comes back into, I guess the Jaffa, into the rebellion. I hope she plays a bigger role. Also potential love interest for Teal. Uh, there's a lot of emotional moments spread throughout this one, especially with just how they're being treated um, and their history. And there was a lot to unpack there obviously between the the young daughters and, and girls being killed to i guess the the resentment towards any sort of rebellion uh and the idea of like the and 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 honestly this is a bigger story this is also has really this episode also has a lot to do with the idea of adoption of 
tertonin because this was, you know, this is still a very experimental procedure. As we saw this episode, one of them, you know, died in the process. But they didn't really explain as to why. Just assume that, you know, it is still very early on. Very many experiments with the with the uh, with the substance. So uh, I just look at it as like either some sort of reaction or. I don't know what the what the exact cause was, and I don't think we're gonna get to know that. But say, oh, it was a perfect fit. There had to be some sort of roadblock. So unfortunately, uh, there was a death here. So, yeah, I thought this was a pretty good episode here. We also had Daniel um, stepping in, um, helping the daughter and trying to be friendly with her, obviously, and helping her throughout this process while she may or may not die. Sam obviously uh, making establishing a relationship as the uh, the woman on the team. I think it was an interesting lore building episode in the uh, you know the Gould. Uh, rebellion story and the overall just a, a, a different lens to see how some of the Jaffa and the Jaffa subcultures have been impacted by the Guau uh, and how some Jaffa might be a little hesitant towards trying a new means to uh, living so anyway guys that was my reaction video to Stargate SG-1 season number seven episode number 10 what do you guys think about this one y'all I would like to hear your thoughts about this one in the comment section down below as always if you enjoyed it then definitely be sure to smack the like button and subscribe if you guys haven't already but with that being said guys I will catch you all in the next one y'all love you guys I'll see you for episodes number 11 and 12 next week